Hey everybody, I'm Evan Hammonds for BloodHorse.com and welcome to After the Wire, which is brought to you by EquiAid, the makers of Bodybuilder, Airblast, and other fine natural products. 14 big Breeders' Cup races in the books. So many races, so little time. With the new configuration of the two-day format, the Friday card is clearly the appetizer with only one of the original eight Breeders' Cup races on the program, that being the Distaff. We'll get to that one in a second, but a comment about speed and speed bias. Much has been made of last year's pronounced speed bias and rail bias at San Anita Park. Fair enough. On the Friday card this year, the dust-up began right after Golden Sense and Rafael Bejarano drew off in the dirt mile after setting fractions of 22.12, 44-3, and 108-3, and then holding on to win by two and three-quarter lengths over Golden Ticket. But let's hold on here a minute. Golden Ticket came from more than 15 lengths off the pace to finish second. In the distaff and the races on the main track Saturday, there didn't appear to be a pronounced bias. Most winners were near the lead, some came from off of it and up the rail, but a lot of them made wide sweeping moves well off the rail, like Beholder. The distaff had promised to be one for the ages, and we're not talking about Gary Stevens' age. The early, the early going was as advertised with two-time champion Royal Delta playing cat and mouse with Beholder, but it was not to be Royal Delta's day as she faded after a half mile, not showing us any of the power she has graced us with the last two seasons. Jockey Mike Smith said she just didn't have it today. There was no spark, and he knew it early on. He said she usually takes a race to somebody, but not today. I thought when Beholder came up to her, she would pick it up, but she didn't. Now, Beholder cruised past authenticity to the lead at the head of the lane and then blew them away. Trainer Richard Mandela said he saw that Stevens had a hold on her, and they were just cruising along. Then he saw Stevens reach and take another hold, even though she already had one, and that's when she went by the other filly, and when he saw that, Mandela said, oh boy. Now, it was a great win for owner B. Wayne Hughes and the breeders back at Clarkland Farm here in Kentucky. As for Saturday's races, uh, the key ones to me were the two ones for the kids, and of course, the classic. Now, we are heartbroken over the breakdown of Secret Compass but at the same time, we're impressed with the resolve of the first three to hit the line. She's a Tiger set a tremendous pace and held despite drifting out and bumping. The eventual winner, Rhea Antonio, showed grit to keep coming and running despite being intimidated. And third place finisher, Rosalind, ran a super race to rally from last after stumbling at the start. Another jump or two and the DQ would have been for second. In the juvenile, New Year's Day was three wide down the back stretch while eighth of 13. Then he came down to the inside and got past a very good Havana to get the win for Gary and Mary West and trainer Bob Baffert. Then came the classic. Now, there was a vibe against Game on Dude last year, and it was there again this year. You could just sense it early on. Then he failed to fire in his biggest race of the year. Now, there to pick up the pieces was the ready and able Mucho Macho Man, who tipped his hat that he was a force to be reckoned with uh, when he won the awesome against stakes at Santa Anita in late September. He took it to the leaders with authority on the turn and was strong in the stretch without Gary Stevens even going to the whip. Declaration of War ran a huge race in his dirt debut and Will Take Charge proved he's the best three-year-old of this year's crop by missing by just a scant nose. Now, who knows what could have happened if Will Take Charge had not uh, run up into the back of Verrazano in the Derby earlier this year. The classic finish became one of those instant classics and reminds me of the very first classic finish back in 1984 with Wild Again, Gate Dancer, and Slew of Gold. It was definitely one for the ages. There was a lot going on over the two days at Santa Anita, but the best question I heard at the Breeders' Cup was from our friend Hot Tub Johnny West, who asked if Richie Sambora had to be vanned off after he played the call to the post. Now, we're not sure, but we're going to find out for next time right here on After the Wire.